We did it, people. 140 people. Just got word that they loved all the food. Me and Ben are tired. That was a lot. Everyone's getting seconds. All gone? <laughs> That's it, huh? Yeah. Morning, people. Saturday. Today is where we get everything done. So, <clears throat> just getting ready to leave my room. This was my view this morning. So, just packing up, getting ready to leave. I'm gonna head over there with Ben. <clears throat> Start cooking, I think everyone's headed to the graduation now. So, I slept all right. Bed was hard. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just making sure I have everything. <clears throat> this morning I was up at five. Met my uncle. We had breakfast this morning. Ben was still sleeping, so. <coughs> breakfast was good. <laughs> I used the power. <laughs> How was breakfast this morning? It was good. He missed out. Yeah. He missed out. Was just you and Larry? Yeah, just me, Larry. Yeah, after, after, after you called and I checked all my voicemails and texts. Uh huh. Tristan's like, hey, my dad wants to take you guys to breakfast. Can you be ready in 15 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> I know. She texts me as, yeah, I'm already up. Were you up already? Yeah, I was up at five this morning. Damn, bro. Yeah, so all the veggies are already at, at the mops. Yeah, she said they left it over there instead? Yeah, we found room. That's nice because we don't have to stop it right there. Yeah. Here, Joe and Bacon started popping. Got the water going for our macaroni here. 
doing things on high heat. Feels like we're racing against time. So. Let's make this work. Everybody wants a graduation. So just a few family members are here. And we pretty much finished the setup yesterday. So today's the day. Time to get work done. Okay. Hey Ben, what are you making? All right, we are going on to teriyaki sauce world. To uh, reduce it, half of it we are going to keep as a marinade. Ones to be watery, ones to be reduced. Correct. There's all these ingredients for the teriyaki sauce. That's it. A little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, more sugar. We got uh, heat, and then onions. Let's see, where's the cutting board? You guys that you. Macaroni salad, we're only missing the mayo for now. Yeah, so when that gets there, you want to take care of that? Yeah, we'll mix it in. Two buckets full, we just got done with that. This is a nice layer. Get those ready. So the marinade that we make, we put in buckets. So two buckets. Um, and that doesn't have to be heated or anything. It's just gonna be as is. So basically we're just putting everything in there. We're gonna extract all the flavors from everything and then just strain it out. The marinade is gonna be easier. It's gonna basically be soy sauce, some uh, juice, some sugar, and then water. Okay. That's pretty much it. This The, the sauce itself is gonna have all the extra love. Chili, we gotta balance it out, you know, otherwise it'd be too sweet. Too hot. Yeah, we don't want it too hot, so it's a balancing act. But the good thing is we're just gonna put a little bit on top of the chicken. So it's not gonna be overpowered. Right. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, no, that'd be perfect. You want to open those up for me, brother? Do it way back when I started cooking. Right there. That's it. Perfect. Thank <laughs> you, brother. Y'all going at one? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and throw. Uh, save one. We'll put two, two containers in here. The one that you have the onions? Yes. Oh, sorry, bro. 
Yeah, I mean, just splash you if I did. <laughs> so it's something that's fun in the kitchen. All right, and then the other one was save for Mary. So if we, if we can find an empty bucket, probably two. Um, yeah, you guys got two more buckets? Split it, split that in half mm -hmm. uh, into the two buckets. Okay. And maybe split this in half into two buckets. Keep these. Whoop. And then maybe a half a bag. Per bucket. Per bucket? Yeah. And then I'll use those two for my sauce. Yes. So again, cooking for me is just balancing. If it's salty, we need to add sweet. If it's heat, we got to add sweet. Ben, I checked the deal this. Okay, you said... So pretty much everything I gave you, split in two buckets. Two buckets? Yeah. Yeah, same size bucket should be good. Because we're going to marinate that, we're going to put the chicken pieces in that. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Yeah, please. First. And then how did you like this, bro? Did you go ahead and turn on the um, propane? Oh no, this one. Where's your torch? Uh, I think it's is it over? Yes. Or right behind you, Ben. <clears throat> oh. Did you turn off the propane? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Come on. Is that pretty much all the uh, yeah. ingredients? So, for the food, there's this dish called chicken adobo, which is basically chicken cooked like a stew. Mm -hmm. And the main ingredients is vinegar, vinegar and soy sauce. More or less half and half. You'd be surprised how good that thing is. It's really tasty. Right. There's more vinegar over here. Yeah, I think we should be cool. I don't want to overwhelm the chicken. I put a lot of I put a lot of uh, sesame oil in the sauce, so. You got water in this one too? There's water yeah, in this one. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Oh, these are. Those are macaroni. Macro. Oh, this is macaroni? No. Okay. no this is oh, here. okay, gotcha. So, this, when we get the chicken, we'll quarter them, or we cut them in half, the leg from the thigh. We'll put all legs in one, all thighs in the other. And then, when we start grilling, we know where to go. Okay. And this is empty. Whatever was prepping, yeah, we put another leg in and let it sit for 15, 20 minutes long. That sauce is going to be the start of the show. Okay. But I would like a little background, you know, with the flavoring. I don't want to get plain chicken. You know? Yeah. The table's been everywhere. <laughs> Big town, black rock, here. It's a lion out. 
Oh, I'll yeah, tell you. Some light off with that trailer, huh? Yeah. It's doing well. It's My doing well. Trailer, I, used to, I used to bring take the grill over there, huh? The fire grill. Uh, you I want used to haul woods over there, too. Yep. Do you want to put this in there? Yeah, just stuff it right there. Okay, in the corner? Yeah, just okay. stuff it somewhere. He said he was going to have another reunion in July. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, well. We can sweep that up right there. So. Uh, well, we'll put, some, we'll put some onion in here because we got. Oh, wash this one and then bring with water, okay? Okay, thank you. And we'll wash the dishes inside too. Thank you, thank you. Dude, he's like the ultimate sous chef. You gonna let the onion sit in this one? Huh? You let the onion sit in this one? That's decent. That's good. I'll take decent as a part of it. Hey. Hey. Okay. Oh, bro, how can you hide this chair from the poor sick old man over here? It's good for your back. <sighs> what are these, sir? Those are Damn. our chicken marinade. We have a little bit of pineapple juice, soy sauce, onion. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. And it will... Oh, and vinegar. Vinegar. And that would penetrate... That one had vinegar? No. 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 Fifteen minute break. Right. So it's eleven twenty one. So we'll shoot for eleven thirty five. and get out of here. Okay. And then we'll be back by noon, and then we should be in, in decent shape. Yes, positive words only. Family friendly words. Halfway through the diploma, give out. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Let that cool. Maybe you put the top on like. So these ones are okay. The pepper flakes. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I hope so. I mean, I figure people like chili. Well, it's not too hot. No, and we're gonna use a little. Because if we use too much, actually keep it keep it open a little. Yeah. Because I don't want fires to get in the fucker. But I mean, uh. Because if we use too much, it's just it's too so thin. It's just gonna run over the plate. You know. So this way, we just pour a little bit on the chicken. Maybe use a spoon or something. Okay, what are we doing now? All right, so now. Basically. We're gonna separate the leg from the thigh and we're gonna clean up what we can with the fat. So like, trim the fat? Yeah, just trim, like see this part, the yeah. chain off? That's gonna burn, you know? Yeah. So we don't need that. And then we can put legs in this one if you want thighs in this one. Okay. So you know what, we're gonna cut it at the joint? Yeah, there you go. And then just trim it through. I hope the doggies don't come out here. Okay. 
So I'm gonna put legs in this one, okay? okay. Now there's that backbone type of thing. Should we just leave it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Perfect. Perfect. This one, right? Yes. I mean, by technicality, it doesn't even really matter, but it'd just be easier if we keep it all together. This one's okay. Yeah, I think so. Once we have these filled up, mm -hmm. we'll go on to starting the rice while it sits and marinates for a minute. Once we get the rice going, we'll get the barbecue lit. And then we're halfway home, bro. Bless you. Propane is getting low. I think this side is. Is it Yeah. Yeah, I got it. 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 Yeah, I got it.
Uh oh shit, what happened? Spare up, spare up, spare up. <laughs> No, bro, this isn't this is going to be good. You just want to turn one side off? Yeah, that's right. That's right. <clears throat> Right on. Shut it down. Good up this one. 
Yeah. I think there's one Okay. You have an extra? Yeah, I have one right here. Okay. So, I'll, I'll probably swap it out and we'll go. Give me this pan, pants, give me this. I think I'll have my salad. Hot. It's a hot one, okay, my. Hardy, hardy. Hardy, hardy. Oh, there we go. That's all we got, that's okay. We're we'll getting there. We got a lily on the grill. Oh. Got my partner on the grill because you still. Where's the jar? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to turn the plane down. Everything's on low? Yeah, it's as low as it goes. The, the grill itself is on hot spot. So the part of the grill is really hot and the other not so much. So it makes it hard. And then with the wind, that goes off. Oh, They're all popping. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work. But anyway, so, so we go that route. A couple of... This is too small in there. Never mind. Oh, this is tiny. Oh, that's one. Last one. Oh, okay. Dang. I have that hurt. That's in my hand. I guess maybe about two right there. And then, so, Larry will be on veg, you can do the rice, and then I'm just going to put a piece of chicken and hand it to these guys. They are the tiniest plates in the world. I don't know if you guys want to start taking it out or I can't see anyone taking it. We're going to pray. Father God, we thank you for this time of fellowship, Father God, 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 for
Here's all the servers. Wash the chicken. Wash the chicken. Wash. Wash. Both. Just do both. Make it easy. We'll film that bulldog. Yeah, we'll film that. Do you want me to do the sauce and do the garnish or are you cool with doing everything? Is there any silverware? Who's silverware? No. Is there silverware out there? That's silverware, we need to give it on silverware. I grew up there. Oh, in the back? You started from the back. How are you doing on the bed? Huh? You can sit on the side. So all this is a silverware. Yes. Why is she on the other side? Well, no, I figured. I figured you told him what the deal was. Where to start? Who's got what? Um. Is this the first tray going out? No, this is like the fifth tray going out. Yeah. Where, where did you guys start at? Right uh, the back. Okay. What do you mean the back? What's the back? The corner and the back. Uh, you more Pacific, right? Uh, no, I'm with you, bro. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Hannah. You're the first one. Hannah, you just messed it up. You just messed it up, Hannah. Oh, don't give it to the kids? Don't give it to the kids. Hannah, just let us know. Give it to the kids? No, I do the kids. I feel like I'm going to chip with this or something. Don't chip with this. I'm going to get some more chicken. You know, it has veggies. Veggies. We did it, people. 140 people. Just got word that they loved all the food. Me and Ben are tired. That was a lot. Your phone's getting seconds. All gone? Left. <laughs> That's it, huh? Yeah. yeah. I need to take some over there. Midnight snack. Your mother and father, your days on the on this earth will be long. That's right. And you have your mother, you know, honor your mother all your life. And also in the New Testament, it talks of a child that comes without a father. The father is no longer here. It's the church, the men of the church, then become the father. It's an honor to still be included. We appreciate uh, Tristan and family still thinking about being my family. I'm a pastor in East Phoenix. And uh, for years, Donnie and the family have come to our church for uh, training. We started hanging out and had a good relationship there. And uh, you know about... Uh, Donnie, everybody says he was your best friend, you know, and uh, honestly, uh, I consider him one of my best friends, and uh, so I'm still glad that I'm here to be part of this, and I'm uh, really proud of Hayden and everything that you've gone through, that you're graduating, and you're seeing you walk, it's, it's amazing, and, um, but one thing I want to tell you is that when you hear about Donnie and, and what he has done, and, and you think about impact, but we went to China, it impacted my life forever and the whole group that we took there. I'll never forget about China. I'll never forget about the good time we had with you and your brother, your sister, your, your mom. 
but that impact, you were part of that. It wasn't just your dad. You were included in that impact. So you impacted my life. And I want to tell you that that can carry on in your life. God wants to continue to use your life personally to impact other people as well. So just stay encouraged, and I want to tell you, you're equipped and you're prepared for whatever life is going to handle. <laughs> you want to yell at me, boo at me, I've heard it all. <laughs> Been in the long life, sometimes good, sometimes bad. No <laughs> hardness. Um, but what I know, Donnie, Trissy, for uh, way back. And Donnie's been... Not only a friend, but a brother to me. And, uh, every time I speak about him, I can't help but you know, cry. I miss him, just like everybody else. And I can't, can't imagine you know, what it is for Trissy and Ada and Joshua and Terry. Hey. I just want to encourage you, Aiden, that. Uh, I don't know why this has happened. You know, I, I question it myself to the point of you always want to be angry at God, but then there's always a reason behind it. Maybe God took him because he knew that you'd be okay. What he left behind, you know, your mom, you as you know, some as young man, China. Uh, we, I never, I never yeah. knew Donnie, Benelli, and Trissy until Suzhou, China, and we, we were there living in China. And what happened was, is we became very close friends there uh, through the years. We just, uh, you know, I think it was three, almost three or four years that we got to know Donnie and, and his family and Hayden, and just uh, our church used to come to to help them in Shanghai and, and do stuff for them. We were in a church in Suzhou, China, which is probably 30 minutes from Shanghai on a fast train and we used to go and uh, we, so we would just love to fellowship with them and get to just be around them it was just almost like being at home being around Donnie Donnie made uh, made us uh, it was just an amazing time Donnie and Trissy their hospitality how they treated us we became very close friends I know people I'm not gonna claim them as my best friend because I know everybody's claiming them but we were best friends, <laughs> and, and, and uh, we got along really good. But uh, one thing I do want to say to Hayden is just, you know, your your dad set the pace. You know, he he left behind a, a great legacy. He had a missionary's heart. Uh, you know, he was uh, the only reason why I think he came back is because of the the pandemic. Is why he came back to Chile at the time. But he wanted to stay in China for a little while longer and, and see what God could do. And, and I'll tell you what, he had an impact in China. But let me say that impact is also upon you, uh, Hayden, just the, what God has for your future. Yeah. Most of you know me. I'm Tracy's older sister. And I'd just like to introduce my family. My mom sitting over there, Ella. My aunt behind her. And all my cousin sisters on that side. And then my aunt. Mary right here, and her kids, and then my uncle she. back there, and with his kids. So I just like to say thank you for coming. Oh, and my dad. My <laughs> 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 right here. Hey. Staff, yeah. I just like to thank everybody for being there. Congratulations, Hayden. You know I was always bug you, text you, saying do your homework. Are you in school? You can say, don't worry, mom. Don't worry, mom. But I'm glad, I'm happy for you. I'm also happy to watch you get your diploma. I know it's hard for you. But I'm happy for everybody. Also, everybody that's been helping us here put up the tent and just cooking and running around. We were we were going crazy <laughs> for the last like two weeks. But everything went well. I'm hidden sister. Well, cousin sister. Um, just wanna say thank you all for coming. Um, hidden, good job, proud of you. I know it was 
probably hard. After uh, you came back from China, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't have to catch up. I gotta catch up. <laughs> but you did it. You did it, Hayden. I knew you could do it. We all knew. We all have faith in you. And everyone else, just, just thank you for coming. It's really great to have people here after COVID, especially. We all get to be together and celebrate. I didn't have this. I'm jealous. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. coming, guys. Yeah. 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 Path of what you want to do and all that. And so, all these people are thinking that way for you. Someone's talking like that. Oh, well, I thought people were talking like that in Navajo. Well, I can say I got to eat on. And Kathy had another. Eat on in Navajo. They were saying that they were bread. So if you were sitting there, you were listening to it. And I always say that. Just out of the ski, I say that to my grandma. Because we're not doing that in the So if you didn't have to think about that, you were trying to go into the military, but if you don't have an army. Uh, right now, everything's yours right now. Like, like you were saying, you're the head of the family. And I'm the brother of 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 the brother my family. So you have a big family, you see? Oh, look at all these people. So it's eight of them in the kids over Put that in your mind and say, I can do it. I'll do it. So what the hell is that? Thank you to all of you from the bottom of my heart. Even the ladies noticed texting me, encouraging me, and you know, just like, it helped me to be a better parent, you know, for, for my kids. But, but it's not about me today. <laughs> Hayden, I love you. You know that. In the past year, I have seen you mature so fast. And, and yeah, it has a lot to do with, you know, not having your dad. You know, you stepped up. And I'm proud of you for that. And Joshua. Where's Joshua? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you guys see me go through so much. You guys see me when uh, I get out of bed. You know, like, oh, it just, I can't do anything. But I just want to say thank you, Hayden, thank you, Joshua, for just, and Carrie, for just being there and being patient with me and just, and I could see it in your face. And, you know, we knew, we knew when we were going through it. I knew when you were having a bad week. I knew when Joshua was having a bad week. And yeah. even Carrie. But, you know, with our family beside us, all you guys, the church family, just being there for us really, really helped us a lot. I want all of you guys to know that. And we covet your prayers. And just, like I said, text messages, just a little bit of encouragement, you know, really. It goes a long way, and I appreciate all of you guys for doing that, and, and, and the men in the church, um, especially the men in the church that have uh, no. Pastor, um, Brian, Zach, Raymond, just to name a few, that have really, you know, they stepped up and just stood in the gap, you know, for Hayden and for Joshua, and I appreciate you guys for that. Um, I love all of you from the bottom of my heart. And just to have you guys to stand beside us, it does mean a lot to me. And Hayden, I don't know if you want to go to military or school or, you know, life happens. You know, like, like Brian said, you know, we have dreams. We, we say we're going to do this, do that. But life happens and sometimes things change. And I want you to know that I'm always going to be here no matter what you do. Your aunties, your your grandmas, we're all going to be here for you. Hey guys, for supporting me, I think.
you for the one two. Texted me, praying, hit me, um, encouraging me to do my school. I honestly didn't think I would graduate. I had uh, 13 classes to do on Apex, and it was just hard. Um, but I had you guys, you guys encouraged me. Um, I love you guys. <laughs> no. uh, I'm probably just going to work, work with Pastor. Finished the the building that's going up the new the, the attachment. Um, then just help my mom for maybe a year. And then I don't know. Let's just to see what see what comes. But thank you guys for coming. For eating the food. There's more dessert. There's seconds. Yeah, it's more good seconds. Um, yeah. Thank you guys. Yay! Yay! Alright. Well, <clears throat> that's the end of our day, end of our two-day weekend or catering weekend. So, <clears throat> a lot of people. It was hot. It was good. It was fun. My first catering, I enjoyed it. Um, good turnout. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to Trissy, Hayden. <clears throat> Thank you for having me and Ben cook. Uh, we're glad all you guys liked the food. We're glad every one of you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it made me Ben's day. Um, we hope you continue on with what you're going to do. Whatever you choose to do. But um, thank you, Trissy. Um, there's a lot of people I want to thank. You know, Sandra, Ella. Hayden, everybody that, you know, for Fernando, all your sons, you know, <clears throat> everybody that just helped out over there, everybody that just made us feel comfortable to cook and gave us what we needed. And, <clears throat> you know, we're tired, we're beat. I just dropped off Ben, so I'm headed home now. I'm, uh, I'm tired. I'm just going to shower change change my clothes get ready for bed and it was a long day and like i said i enjoyed it the catering was was good and we got another catering coming up in june we'll see we'll see how that goes but you know we're up for it and this week is on to josiah's graduation now so we'll be busy this week again and thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, <clears throat> you know, coming along with our first video on our catering. So, but thank you guys again for everything. Like, like I said, I'm tired. I'm, I'm beat. So, you know, a lot of smoke, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. And Thank you to, again, thank you to everybody. <laughs> I just keep going. But, um, and again, thank you too, Ben. You know, it's it was good to work with you and it was good to cook alongside with you. And everything we made was from scratch. So, you know, I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed cooking. I enjoyed doing all that. But, <clears throat> Time for me to go home, relax, shower, and we'll see you guys on the next vlog. You guys all have a good day. Peace.